<laughs> With the annual Christmas parade now only days away, crews are working hard to complete final preparation. And boy, is it looking good out there around our community. Our Julia Grass takes a look at the work, which has really been months in the making. As you can see behind us, first is the tree, right? So I'd have to say thanks to the New Hope Community Church for donating the tree, Lakeshore Paving for helping us to get it here, uh, the BPU with their guys in their crane helping to lift it off and, and getting it set in its place, and the Parks Department guys for, for securing it down and cutting the tree itself. The 40-foot-tall Norway spruce was cut earlier this month and has been decorated with over 3,000 energy-saving LED lights ahead of the ceremonial lighting on Saturday. However, with high winds in the forecast, local crews are taking precautions to keep the tree upright. We've got a bunch of cables, have it hankered down. We have a box to help keep it secured. It's all drilled together, held down with sandbags, um, and, and we try to keep it as tight and the best we can. The longtime holiday tradition is hosted by Collaborative Children's Solutions and the City of Jamestown. While planning has been in the works for months, in just the past few weeks, preparation got underway. So we come and we check it just about every morning, turn on the lights, we take our drive through town and, and check on all the other lights, the snowflakes, the twinkle lights, the poles we have lit, and all the trees the guys decorated too. The parade itself will begin on the 3rd Street Bridge at 6 o'clock Saturday, and after a silent section between Lafayette and Washington Streets, procession through downtown ultimately ending at City Hall. Coming up with our plan with JPD of how we're going to close the roads and when they're going to be closed. So we'll be looking at closing 3rd Street probably right around 4 o'clock on Saturday. Uh, the parade starts at 6 and hopefully we'll have it lit by about 6.30 that night as the parade goes through. The parade will have two exit points to keep traffic flowing down 3rd Street towards the high school and up Prendergast Avenue. Over 100 vehicles are expected to participate this weekend. Julia Gress, WNY News Now. Julia, thank you very much. A reminder, if you don't plan to come out to the parade in person, you can still watch it live from the comfort of your couch on Channel 716 on Roku.